Plugin of the week is the Waves Greg Wells Tone Centric. Uh, this is the latest in the signature series from Waves coming from Greg Wells. It uh, joins the mix centric, piano centric, and voice centric. And uh, this one is much more subtle than uh, the others. Uh, again, it gives you the basic kind of singular knob type of approach where you kind of dial in the amount of processing that you want. Um, and then uh, you have input output levels. But I want to show you something that is really cool about this from a, um, uh, from a use perspective and a way to kind of approach using this where you can really get the most of it. Because I think it's a really cool plugin. The basic idea of the plugin, um, and if you're not familiar with Greg Wells, Greg Wells is an amazing engineer uh, who has uh, worked on pro uh, projects with Adele, Katy Perry, and uh, you know whatever millions of other people. And uh, so he's really, really good at what he does. He actually, um, you know, like all engineers who have dealt with analog gear and uh, have them built into his studio like he does, he talks about some 1950s mono tube compressor. It might be a, a Fairchild 660 or something like that. I'm not sure he doesn't mention it. Um, a custom tube console and some other analog gear that he uses. And what he's uh, getting out of those components is a harmonic distortion characteristic and a sound and character that is uh, that really defines the analog sound. And what he wanted to do here was make a plugin that would bring in some of those characteristics, something that he could put in. It wasn't like overwhelming. You're not really going for like the heavy distortion type of thing, although you can get that with this, and I'll show you how. Um, but basically, as a way of adding in to bring in more focus and depth. And character to a sound. And so that's where the tone centric comes in. So what you really have to pay attention to is, is the knob settings as you sort of dial up through uh, through the spectrum here. Because what will happen is you as you drive up louder, what you're getting in, in is into a deeper harmonic distortion or, or saturation characteristic and also more compression. And so those characteristics uh, will sometimes add a little bit of gain, presence, and what you really want to focus on, and I just have this right here on the mix, you could use it on individual channels as well. Um, I may experiment a little bit with some stems to kind of work with it this way. Actually, I'm just going to have the drums uh, running through, and maybe we'll run some other stuff through it just so we can kind of hear the character of it, and I can show it off. But essentially, just like all of the, or most of the Signature Series plugins, essentially what you're looking at is the input level here. If you go to uh, basically green... Uh, type of settings, you're getting a basic level of processing. If you're going to yellow, it's getting a little bit more aggressive as you head towards orange and red, then it starts to saturate more. So in other words, the input level is a big characteristic vibe for this. And uh, they added a feature in here, which I think is really cool, which allows you to gang or inversely gang the input and output level controls, which means that you can actually adjust input to output and more or less get yourself... Um, a, uh, a you know a, a steady or even gain structure right keep your uh, even gain structure kind of going through right a unity gain structure sorry I was looking for the word there all right so let's go through and let's just start with the basics here because I think we're probably gonna have right kind of moderate you know going between green and light orange right so let's kind of go through So if you listen, like you go up here, you can hear all the saturation starts to bring out more of the bass. It starts to shift into a more mid-range tone. Let me just stay in that chorus, because it seems to be a good place. To me, there's like a sweet spot somewhere right in here. I like what it does to the claps. Right, and so you get this sense of like a, a little bit more depth, a little bit more clarity, and a little bit more focus. And this is what, um, you know, basic like harmonic distortion, especially when coupled with, uh, um, 
you know, uh, compression in this way. This sounds like a tube valve kind of uh, compression, you know, Veramu style compression characteristic that's added in there. Although I can't, um, I can't verify that. Maybe that's just through some of the tube components that he's using as his, the basis for what he's doing. This is not an emulation of his gear as I understand it. Um, but one of the element that you can kind of add into here is uh, if we find a sweet spot, for example, is how much we want to work with this in terms of like I can saturate it. So as I pull back here, I can get a little bit more of an open sound. and get some of that focus without care. It's, it sounds like it's adding some gain here, but you can hear that. And, and just to give you an idea, like we could take, like say you liked something that was driving a little bit more of the bass. Just to give you an idea of how you can collapse it out. Right, where I can preserve this and then... It's really exaggerating that kick drum in this case. All right, so let's go back here. And Oh, it seems like there's a bit of a recovery lag here. You hear how that's really so heavily saturating. It's not even really a fair comparison. So here, uh, maybe what I'll do here is I'll just zero this out. Let's find another uh, AB point. Uh, for this to work. Maybe something that's in here. Not so heavily bass weighted and then So this is a little more open sounding. That a little more thick sounding. And both adding some depth and character. It's like it's it's kind of an interesting, uh, pretty cool tool. You know, with these types of things, uh, sometimes the subtlety, um, or I sometimes really like these simplified plugins, or even like saturation plugins, where it only has one or two settings, and then you just kind of play with it. And the art of it is kind of balancing out how much dynamic do I want to allow in in this particular case by adjusting the input level relative uh, with the output level based on the setting um, and harmonic distortion characteristic that I like tonally as I'm kind of pushing through this. And then I can decide, well, how much do I want to saturate within that basic tonal character and how much do I want to kind of leave it open and what kind of character is um, is there for it. So it's really cool. And so you can actually, there's a lot of variation there and you can see how you can overdrive it as well. Um, a simple plugin, but you know, it rocks. Really good, uh, really cool one. And uh, maybe we'll just uh, quickly open up the mix here so we could hear what this sounds like if I didn't destroy the whole mix with it and uh, um, a do a quick AB and then we'll wrap it up. So you can see here, even with a better gain match, what you're really listening for is that uh, is that shift in focus where you all of a sudden start to feel the depth and character of the song. And that's the basic idea of it. Whether you use it on individual tracks, whether you use it on stems, on a whole mix, 
Um, I just happened to do it here for a quick demonstration, but it's a really cool one. And a uh, uh, new uh, member, new welcome member uh, to the Waves, uh, Greg Wells Collection in the Signature Series. And that is the plug of the week, and it is the Waves Greg Wells Tone Centric. <laughs> 